In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the video pad video editor. If you're looking for the video on how to download the video pad, um, this is not the right one. There's another ve uh, video in my curriculum lab YouTube account that says downloading the video pad. Go ahead and find that video. In the upper left hand box there's a button that says add media. Go ahead and click on that and then find your video. If your video is uh, in a different area on your computer other than the desktop, you're going to have to find it by either accessing my computer or my documents um, and eventually I'm sure you'll be able to find it. Mine happens to be right here on the desktop so I'm going to click on that. It's this 10 quirky science tricks for parties and when I click open VideoPad will add it to my media library in VideoPad. At this point I want to save the project just so I can have that done and taken care of. So I'm going to go to file and save project as and this is my third attempt at making this video so I'm going to save it as, as science trick take three. When I hit save I'm good to go and now I have this attempt saved. When I click on my video here in the media list it'll show up on this left part of the screen and this is where we do the editing. When I hit play the video will start and if you watch closely there's a little red line right here that travels along the screen. This follows the movie as it goes along. Wherever this red line is is the point in the movie that is being shown right here on the screen. Now for this specific uh, editing project, I'm just going to be taking out one small clip of a science trick and what I want is this Diet Coke trick he's doing right here. So I went a little bit too far, I missed the beginning. So I'm going to grab the red line with my mouse and I'm going to pull it back and I'm going to get it to where the Diet Coke trick starts and now I've got it to exactly where I want to start the the video clip. So in order to cut everything off before that and get just this Diet Coke trick, I'm going to go down here and there's a red flag that says set input point to here. And when I click on that, everything before the red line is now gone. It's not permanently gone, it's just gone for right now. Now I can hit play and we'll watch the trick and we'll see where we need to end this specific clip. So I watch and he spins it and it's over and now he's moving on to another trick but I don't want this other trick I want to make sure that I only get the Diet Coke trick so I'm just gonna move the red line backwards and I know this is pretty much the end of the Diet Coke trick so now to cut off everything beyond it I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna click on this blue flag that says set output point to here when I click on that everything beyond the Diet Coke trick is now gone at this point there's one more key step I need to go down here and click to save as new clip right here and when I click on that my trick will now show up in the media list now it'll say in at 22 seconds and out at 32 seconds that means it's a 10 second clip and if you're talking about the original video this clip would start at second 22 and end at second 32 now in order to get this into my final movie I have to click on it and I drag it down here to sequence. It says drag your clips here and I let go. Now it's added to my timeline and this timeline shows me what my final project is going to be. If I want to watch it in a preview, that's what's on this right side of the screen and I can click play right here and it'll show me exactly what I've clipped out and if I save right now what my final video will look like. And there we go. I've got the science trick that I want. I've got the clip. I didn't have anything other than the Diet Coke trick, which makes my video look nice because then it doesn't have any short little snippets of anything else. And I'm ready to save my clip. In order to save it, I go up here to Save Movie. I left click on it. And I'm going to want to save it to my computer. You can make a disk or save it to something else, but always save it to your computer first. So highlight computer then select where you'd like to save your video and lastly make sure that the file format is either WMV or AVI there's several other options but make sure it's one of these two so we'll just go with WMV the resolution and frame rate are fine you don't need to play around with those at all and then click OK 
And when I do it'll save my movie and I will have a permanent copy of it on my computer. Okay, those were just some of the very basic tricks of the editing process. Now I want to show you a couple of cool tools that you can use with your video if, you, if you'd like to, if you'd like to uh, add subtitles or narration, um, or if you'd like to play around with the audio at all. First, in order to narrate, on the top toolbar there's a button that says narrate and it's pretty self-explanatory. You just go down, open that box and it'll show you a clip and if you click on the red button and you have your microphone plugged in it'll record your voice. Uh, make sure you have your microphone in or if you're using a laptop it'll give you an option to use your webcam speaker as well. Another cool option with the video pad is to in input subtitles. Now with Movie Maker you could just do clips um, or slides with some writing on it but here in VideoPad you'll be able to actually transpose words right on top of the video so in order to do so down here I click and I can type whatever I'd like and I'm gonna type in diet coke trick and you can see it shows up right here now towards the top right hand, hand corner there's a button with size and I can increase the size to make it bigger more legible I can also change the font and there's basically every type of font you could imagine and you may also change the outline of the, the color as well as the inside of the color to make it look differently and bold and italicize and all those normal tricks that you'd find in Microsoft Word. One other important thing when adding a subtitle is down here is the show, hide, and the duration buttons. Right here if you click on the numbers under show it'll pop open a dialog box and right there you tell it exactly when you want it to show I want it to show at second one of the video so I just type in a one and click OK and I want it to hide on second five of the video and I hit OK now it'll tell me my duration is four seconds long and this is what it'll look like in my video so now I can hit close and I know that'll be in my final product now but just to preview it I can click on play right here and we'll see if my subtitle shows up diet coke trick disappears at second five perfect so that's how you add a subtitle last I want to show you is how to play around with the volume down here on the audio track is your volume level for the sound that comes with your video. So this video has music. I muted it just so we wouldn't have to listen to it while I narrate this video. But um, if for some reason you want to remove the audio and you want kind of a silent video, what you can do is you can click on your timeline right here and right click and it'll say unlink sound clip. When you click that, it moves your audio down to the next line and treats it as if it is a soundtrack rather than the original audio. At this point, in order to delete the audio, you want to click on just that audio line, not the movie, because you'll delete that. But if you click on just the audio line and hit delete, now we've got no sound to the video clip at all. Now if you did that as a mistake and you want your audio back, just left click on the video so it highlights blue, right click and hit restore sound clip. And now your original audio is back. This is nice because sometimes when we make mistakes it's pretty easy. Um, another cool trick, if you don't like the volume level of your original clip, you can turn that down or up to suit your needs, but if you're going to narrate over the original footage, you might want to turn the volume down of the, of the main audio. That way, when you narrate, you can hear that pretty well. Um, there's other cool vid uh, tricks for the video pad. You can insert blank slides um, just by clicking on the insert blank button. You can also add transitions and effects to your video. And it's a pretty simple trick to do. 
and I really enjoy working with VideoPad. I hope this video is helpful to you. If you have any further questions on how to use it, just go ahead and contact me in the Curriculum Lab. Um, come in or you can call me at 2216. Thank you.